on to our next sharpening technique, Smart Sharpen. I'm still on the Unsharp Mask, so we're going to click over here to Original Sharpen. We want to go back to the image that has no sharpening, and we're going to duplicate that image. We've already sized it and flattened it, so it's ready for our next technique. So we're going to call this last name underscore Smart for Smart Sharpen. Okay, so here we are, ready to sharpen this image. It's going to start the same way that the Unsharp Mask did. We're going to do Command-J to duplicate the background layer, up to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters, say OK. We have that little icon again. Back up to Filter, down to Sharpen, Smart Sharpen rather than Unsharp Mask. The dialog box looks very similar to what we just saw, amount, radius, but instead of having the threshold, we have reduced noise. So the amount controls the strength of the sharpening, the radius is how many pixels from the edge are affected, and then we have the reduced noise, which actually helps to remove or control, minimize some of the noise that can be amplified through the sharpening. It's believed that you should leave this set to Lens Blur. You might notice it says Shadows and Highlights here. If we click that down, we have a whole variety of new controls we have. We can go in and fine tune our shadows and highlights by reducing or fading the amount and the radius or the width of what we did in the top part of our dialog box. This image isn't going to need that, but it's something for you to explore on additional images if you're needing that extra touch of control. Let's see what we got here. I need to take this image up to 100%, so I'm going to do Command Plus to do that. And the amount, the strength or contrast of the sharpened edge. So it's looking pretty good there. Let's pull this down, push that up. Oh, you can see when we raise the radius too close to the amount, it gets really crunchy in there. So I'm going to pull that back down. I'm going to pull that down a little bit more. I hit the preview button on and off. I'm looking all around the image. It's looking pretty good. I left my reduced noise set to the default of 10%. And I left this set to Lens Blur for Remove. And I'm not going to touch the shadows and highlights on this image. Preview before and after. OK. It built out the layer mask again. Here's the Smart Sharpen. I can bring this smaller so I can see how it looks by turning on and off the Smart Sharpen layer. I can make it larger. And golly, I think that's pretty good. But if I didn't, remember, I can always double click on the word Smart Sharpen. The dialog box reappears and I can tweak my sharpening. Hit OK. And now I've sharpened it a little bit more. You can really see it taking effect right here in the middle on that back area. So it looks pretty good. That is the basics of Smart Sharpen. You'll want to go save this. File. Save as. 